Join us in this episode of Musky Mastery Outdoors as we target pre-spawn largemouth bass with lipless crankbaits and hook up with the first musky of the season on light tackle. One of the beauties of fishing a lipless crankbait over a weed flat early in the season is that you really never know what you're going to catch. Weed flats on the north and east sides of a lake usually develop the quickest, and these spots will become magnets for all predator species as the water temperatures warm. As you will see here, I always finish with a figure eight even while bass fishing just for that reason. musky. I don't know if I can keep her hooked here. That was so cool. That real white line here, guys. Oh, that is so cool. Get the net ready. Oh, we got her! We got her! Oh, the first musky of the season! Yes, came up and popped it right at boat side. Oh, beautiful! How cool is that? Wow! Oh, you are gorgeous. Boy, she was hooked just perfectly. She was hooked just perfectly. Man, check that out. First muskie of the year. What a pretty fish. Man, is that cool or what? She came up and popped it right at boat side. Gorgeous fish, let's get her back, awesome. of the year is officially filmed that was awesome i mean come on i i mean i love bass fishing but mm, does that oh that smells so good that smells so good yes, yes. when i am targeting bass on a large weed flat with a lipless crankbait one of the most important things i'm looking for is the sweet spot this is usually a small section of the flat that has the most mature weed development and thus harbors the most bait fish and predators. A dead giveaway for where the sweet spot is located is any area where weed tassels are breaking the water surface. These areas will warm the fastest and usually hold the biggest and highest numbers of bass in the flat. It's like this sweet, sweet zone, little sweet spot here. Ooh, that's a better one. That's a better one. It's just saying there seems to be a sweet spot. All right. Find you a little bit better size here out deeper. A little bit better size out a little deeper. Come here, where are you? Yes. Awesome. Now that's what we're after. That is what we are after. Finally, a little bit bigger size here and out a little deeper. So that makes sense. Okay, we hooked pretty well there. All right. Awesome. That's what we're after. That's a nice large mouth there. Wow, look at that. On the other side there, you can see she's got a, a scar here and here. Probably probably be, uh, probably be bit by a, a northern pike there. But that's a nice bass though. That's for this lake, it's a decent sized bass. There are bigger ones, we're gonna get them. One of the keys to working a lipless crankbait successfully over thick weed cover is matching your retrieve speed to the amount of space you have between the weed tips and the surface. My general rule early in the season is low and slow, with the objective to make contact with the cover without getting stuck in it. Watch here as I pump my Legend Glass cranking stick up and down to maneuver the rattle trap so it stays super close to the weeds without getting snagged. Oh boy. That might be a better fish. It is. Oh, stay down. Oh yeah. That's what we're after here, guys. That is what we're after. That's a better one. That's a better one. Touchdown. All right, that's what we're after. We got a good one in the house here. We got a good one in the house. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Let's see if I can just get you unhooked here. Oh, 
Man, these these bass. And that's that's why we chase them, right? Oh, fast thumb. That's why we chase them. They're just so darn fun to catch. Does it get any better than that? I mean, seriously, these fish just clobber. They just pound it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Take it easy and tight lines. In the world of bass fishing, there may be no more exciting time to target these hard-hitting predators other than the pre-spawn period. While many anglers keep their bass setups in storage while the water temps are still in the 40s, I would argue that the early season bite is one of the most exhilarating times to target largemouth and smallmouth bass. We hope you've enjoyed this episode, and as always, thanks for watching. Chaz Martin's Musky Mastery Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors, number one in big game fish products, and by St. Croix Rods, best rods on earth. Fish more, worry less.